VW Lifers. Gary here with the Matt Jackson. Hey, Matt Jackson, uh, working uh, again on HB19 today, buddy. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, so uh, if you remember uh, previously, uh, we'll send a link to the episode there. We were kind of doing some work gutting the inside. Well, today we're going to start pulling apart the outside, Matt Jackson. And uh, as you can see, uh, very still, very solid beetle, man. We're really excited about it. Yeah, we're going to be taking off all kinds of parts, I guess. Yeah, uh, you know, slot, one of the rules of thumb I like to do is when I pull something off, uh, we like to like try to, I mean, we know most of the parts on this, but uh, uh, when I put we put it in the tubs to store it, I want to put it in there to where when I can pull it out, it's good to install. So we got some guys taking stuff off, uh, Mad Martin's doing that, Tommy B's doing some of that, and then uh, other parts, we're just kind of sitting here taking little pieces and then clean them and getting them ready so when we, it's time to put it back together you just put it back on that's kind of the thing i like to do on that yep so we're just still in the disassembly phase of the project yeah hb19 coming soon to the vw harvest so uh, stay tuned for all that fun stuff too everybody this is the headlight switch we're pulling out the uh, scutcheon tube with the Fancy escutcheon tool, I guess that's how you say it. Escutcheon sounds right, based on the spelling. Sure makes life a lot easier and makes the piece look much better when it comes out. Oh, Can you show us how that fits in there? Hmm. Set that. And it's hollow goes around it. I want you guys to look at these these lenses. These are SB19s. They are beautiful. Or as Martin says, beautiful. Martin, they make fun of me for saying say beautiful. beautiful. Seriously, look how smooth those are. That's impressive. Okay, so we're going to clean this up and we're actually going to have our friend Lorenzo convert it into a Bluetooth stereo. So be able to hook up your uh, phone and everything to it. Silver beige buttons, legitimately awesome. We got silver beige everything else to match. Taking this off. That's it. See, and you work too. You know, uh, Early beetle headlights are quite a contraption sometimes. There's a lot of pieces. Uh, we've already kind of taken most of these apart already. But uh, you know, anytime you have the, the glass lens, uh, these types are a little more complicated. They still use a seal beam headlight, uh, but you know, with the lens pieces and the, the, the uh, chrome trim rings and the little clips. There's really two styles. This isn't my favorite style because of these little rubber grommets here usually go bad. I think you can source those at Wolfsburg West though. But nonetheless, there's another kind that I prefer a little bit more. It has like a little metal clamp on here. Not much difference between these and a bus, really. Uh, the, the differentiating part is this is the only part that's different between a Beetle and a bus. And it's where you orient the, the headlight. Because like on a bus, it'll be like this. Okay, and a beetle, it sits like this. So that means how your headlight's oriented, and it, all that depends on this piece right here. So this is the only true difference between a bus and a beetle. And the trim rings too, sometimes. You can always see a bus trim ring over here would have a little hole in the bottom for a drain hole. So that's, that's kind of the, the two differences on that. And you pulled these off and got them all shined up. Oh on the yeah, wheel, right? yeah. We just hit them on the buffer wheel, and I had to. I mean, it's just a rough buff, real quick. You know, I haven't put any the green stuff on there or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is uh, probably won't do anything on the outside because it still has all the nice lettering here. We'll just kind of fix up this, and then I'm gonna come in here and blast this uh, in the sandblast cabinet, and then we'll. I've, I got a color that's pretty darn close to the original. Notice it's, it's a matte color, and so we'll redo that. And it'll look really good when we're done. So I'm just coming in here and spraying all the bolts with the uh, PB Blaster because the whole 
whole beam's gonna come out. We have a brand new beam from Jerfab. What are we doing here at BWS? Well, I, Martin said a bad word, so I thought maybe we had some blood and I was gonna I was gonna take care of him. First day in seven. Here at BW Life, safety first. So yes, HB19, pretty stripped, looking pretty good. We're gonna roll it out right now. We're gonna wash it. And then we're gonna have, like we're gonna go real easy on uh, on uh, on a little surface cut just to see where we are, and uh, and while we're doing that, uh, I'm gonna go uh, get the grill going because we're gonna make hot dogs and veggie burgers for Matt Jackson. Jesus. <laughs> Got a little excited. Oh, Martin. You can't let Martin loose with a hose and soap. So, and we're gonna we're gonna hit it really softly with these ultra fine pads. And we're just gonna like kind of knock down the, the top here just a little bit, mostly this funky stuff. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna be doing a little buffing, and then that's it. What is it? What is it? Oh, oh, fucking God. wire wheel went straight in. It was. Where was in, it, it was, from? Out here? It was in here somewhere. Oh, uh, we had to get the first, almost ah, had to get. The I wanted to get the first aid kit. I know CPR. Can I help? <laughs> VW Land. Gary here with Matt Jackson, Tommy B. Smith, and the Mad Martin. Guys and gals, we are bringing you something special today. The brand new addition to Volts America Magazine, but it is a special one. It's a special one. Would you look at that picture, ladies and gentlemen? It is the VW Life crew working on the Harvest Beetle. Oh my gosh. And we have some special prizes for you guys today. We're going to give you away this wonderful new copy of Volts America Magazine and a last year's 2018 VW Harvest shirt. And look at this. Would you look at this? Look in my pocket. Oh, some VW Life decals. Ladies and gentlemen, and a special also from Mad Martin and Corn Dog Graphics. We're going to have a decal package for your Volkswagen there. Below is going to be a link, you know, computer link. You have www. You don't even have to do that. It's already for you there, all right? So you don't have to do that. That's good for me. Then it goes a link to Corn Dog Graphics, your eBay store, where you can get all kinds of decals, custom decals, whatever you need from Corn Dog Graphics. They'll take care of you for sure. And that's also the place where you can get 
these VW Life stickers, ladies and gentlemen. Please, below, respond, give us a great comment. We're gonna look at the snarkiest, the funniest, you know us. We like stuff kind of crazy like that. So that's what's gonna be the winner on this. Or hit your subscribe button, hit your like button. Thank you guys. It's been a good day. We got it back in the shop here, and uh, got man, uh, so much stuff is off of it. We did a quick rub down on it, and we're just looking at the patina now. And so now all we do is just we hit it with a buffer. Pretty much done. We got a few little spots. Of course, you know we'll uh, redo the fender welting on here. Start doing some seals and get this thing. Uh, man, I'm excited. It's just going to really be a beautiful car when we're done. It really is. So. Man, thank you guys for watching and being a part. And we love the comments and everything that they're, everybody's putting out there, Matt Jackson. Oh, yeah. They're doing a great job. And yep. thank you all so much for watching again today on the VW Life. Please do tell friends and spread the word. Uh, uh, we love the Volkswagen community, and this is what we're doing this for, is for the, for the folks in the Volkswagen community. So Yeah, um, help out the channel and leave us a like and comment and subscribe, and we can keep doing this for you, and it helps us out. So we'd appreciate it. Most definitely. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon. Later.